what is this, Gordon? Hey, Adam. This is the beloved Razer Blade Pro 17. This laptop has not gotten any love in a long time. Oh, man. In fact, you know what's in here? A 7th Gen KB Lake CPU. Yes, 7th Gen. Quad core and a 17 inch laptop. Well, Razer says, you know what? We need to give this baby some love. What we get now is the brand new, lots of loving Razer Blade Pro 17. As you've noticed, gone is that funky 70s lapel wide bezel look. We go to the narrow bezel look that Razer's been doing on its laptops. But what's inside is what you want to know about. So, this, of course, 9th gen Intel, six cores, 2.6 to 4.5 gigahertz, 12 megabytes of cache, and for GPU, GeForce RTX 2080 Max-Q. Of course, nobody likes to ever talk about their laptop being Max-Q or non-Max-Q, but this is a thin laptop, it's Max-Q. But one thing Razer is saying is like, look, we think our design is probably gonna be faster than other people's Max-Q laptops because we're slightly thicker than what some people might expect, but we have more fans, we're, we're cooling it better. It also has a vapor chamber design. And let's look at the bottom. Fan here, fan here, two fans here in this current design. 70 watt hour battery, two M.2s, one PCIe, one PCIe SATA, two DDR4 sodium slots. Take out 12 screws, take the bottom out. You can access all that if you wanna mess with it. Uh, Wi-Fi 6, that's 802.11ax. And other changes include the Thunderbolt port. Previous Razer Blade Pros have had the Thunderbolt 3 port run to the IGP. This actually connects directly to the graphics, to the discrete graphics part. So in theory, I believe you should be able to get G-Sync outside if you want it. With previous versions, it's been a problem. So this hopefully should get that out to you. Uh, you're also getting HDMI 2.0B, a USB, 3-1 10-gig port, 3-2 technically, another 10-gig, 10-gig, they're all 10-gigs, and then another USB-C it looks like, if I can see with my glasses. Uh, charger uh, for the 230-watt power supply, 2.5 gigabit Ethernet. Also, yeah. the uh, the SD card reader has been upgraded. Oh, yes, uh, let's point that out. I'm, I'm actually interested to try it out. Uh, Razer said, you know, we've gotten dinged before in the past saying our SD card reader is kind of slow. We put in the latest stuff, they're saying UHS, Three, which I'm, I'm going to guess uh, UHS two U30 support, so probably should read at you know much faster than what was in there previously. Screen options: previous Razer Blade Pro 17 had a 4K and it had a 120 hertz 1080p panel. This one only going to be 1080p at 144 hertz. No G-Sync aboard for that. Perky lighting, of course, because it's Razer, you got to have it. Venting at the top and. We'll see. The main thing is we're going to see how fast it's going to be. Laptop, about six pounds. Previous model, about 7.4 with the 4K, with all the glass and all that stuff. So significant savings in weight, significant savings in volume too. This laptop is about 25% less volume than that previous 17. This, that's a big sucker, right? This is actually pretty tiny. So what's the pricing on these, Gordon? So the pricing is really easy on configurations. All of them have 16 gigs. All of them have 512 gig SSD stock. All of them have core i7 ninth gen CPUs. The only thing that changes is the, the graphics card. Lowest end, 2499 gets you a 2060. 2799 gets you a 2070 Max-Q. And for 3199, you get a 2080 Max-Q. Easy. Uh, but that's not all they have to show, right? Yeah, it's not the only thing. This, of course, is the beloved 15-inch Razer, these things are built like tanks. People love these things. Uh, base model, the change is you get the new style Razer charger. You still get your Ethernet in there. You get a Windows Hello camera at the top. You get a 144, 144 Hz 1080p panel and 2060. That's your basic model. You get to the advanced model, which is where you get the better stuff. It's actually slightly different, better cooling. This is the 4K OLED. This is the problem now. What are you gonna pick? I don't know, for gamers, this is the beautiful 4K UHD uh, DCI P3 OLED panel. And they say 10 bit, they believe, for this. Beautiful, just beautiful. But here's the other option on the advanced now. This is new. 
Do you go for OLED 4K or do you go for this? 1080p, 240 hertz panel in a laptop. That's a tough one. This OLED's beautiful, it's high res, but 240 hertz? If you're gonna be a pro gamer and you need those frame rates because you're such a badass in Counter-Strike, you may want the 240 hertz over that OLED. A couple more things. This new base model Razer, which is a step up from the bottom end with the 2060, 1999. And the 2080 with the beautiful OLED panel, because it's 4K, they're only gonna sell it with a 2080 Max-Q. You don't want a 4K with a 2060, folks. You're definitely gonna want more performance. Makes a lot of sense. We're gonna see though, how these perform, how the ninth gen does, how these RTX razor blades do when we get them in. Check back for more videos.